Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. The greatest proof of the presence of the Holy Spirit in an individual or a congregation is the expression of agape love. But what is this love? And today we're going to continue to look at it as we study the love chapter of the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm going to pick it up in verse 5 today where we have another example of what agape love is not. Love does not behave rudely. And the essence of the Greek word here is shame. Agape love does not act in ways that would bring shame to the individual or to the body of Christ. This kind of behavior might get a sarcastic remark from an onlooker that sounds something like this. Oh, so that's what it's like to be a Christian? That's the way Christians behave? I remember it like it was yesterday. My mother and stepfather, who were not believers at the time, were visiting our house, and my young son and I were outside attempting to fly a homemade kite that we had made out of newspaper. And no matter what we tried, we could not get it to fly. And they were watching out the window, and out of frustration, I flew into a rage, and I destroyed the kite with my hands and stomped at it with my feet. And I think you get the picture of what that looked like. But we came into the house, and my mother said, Oh, so that's what it's like to be a Christian? It's not. And I knew it. And I was cut to the heart by her remark. But the Holy Spirit took over. And I immediately knelt at their feet. And I said, no, no, it's not. Please forgive me. Now, I don't know how that simple act of humility played out in their lives but I like to think it played a role in their coming to Christ a couple of months later. Yes, agape love does not bring shame upon the body of Christ. But listen, if you slip up, and you likely will, as I did, be quick to humbly acknowledge it as wrong and confess it asking for forgiveness. Because agape love seeks to avoid shameful behavior. Agape love does not act rudely. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.